everybody, Mark with the Comics, and I'm back. This time, I got a small CGC unboxing. If you want to see what's inside, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, I got a CGC unboxing. This was this was from way back in end of July, early August at um, Connecticut's Terrificon. I ended up going there on that Friday. I'm sure you guys you saw that video from way back when. Um, but I ended up dropping off three books, three nice books, to uh, facilitators there because they did not have CGC or CBCS there because of the, the pandemic. Um, but they finally came back, um, it got sent to my house and then my mother-in-law ended up shipping it back and <laughs> she put it in an extra box. <laughs> it's going to be two boxes I have to open up. But, um, these were, uh, all signature series. One of them did have to get, um, pressed cause I, it was a white cover. It wasn't sure. Um, you know, you know, just never know what white covers point blank and um these three books i ended up picking up for dirt cheap you know two of them i bought on new comic book day one of them i bought for dirt cheap on uh just like a you know back issue bin um haul that i did way back when but um these were signed by two were signed by donny cates and then the other one was signed by scott Hanna. um i didn't get the chance to meet them when i was there they were not signing at the time being so I just handed them off to the facilitator. They got them signed for me. I paid the grading fees. That one book got sent for pressing. So it got a little bit delayed before they actually got sent out. So that was July 31st. Today is March 29th when I'm recording this. So just to give you an idea how long it's been. Um, when I did drop them off. There was currently, I want to say, a 102-day turnaround time through CGC for modern books. These are all three moderns. And I think they're at like 125 or 126 days, something like that right now. So it hasn't really improved, <laughs> to say the least. But uh, I'm glad to see that these books are finally back. Um, can't wait to open them up and uh, show you guys the grades. I don't know the grades myself. Because I don't currently have a CGC account. So that's why for me it's personally easier to just give it to a, f a facilitator and just pay the slightly extra fee. They take care of all the, uh, the stuff for me because they have their account through CGC. And uh, I was getting a little worried because I had messaged these guys back in like January. And I still hadn't gotten an update. So I was like, huh, what's going on here? And um, they had told me that some people had gotten their books back already. And um, I still hadn't gotten mine back. So I was getting a little worried. Um, let's see. Do got my original slip from when I did that. And uh, let's see. What did I pay? I forget what I paid. Uh, going back one now. Looks like total three at thirty seven hundred and seventeen dollars on grading fees. Um, it, I believe, Kate's charged thirty bucks a book, and Hannah was twenty or twenty five. I can't really jog it now off my off my head. It's been so long now, and I think they charge sixty bucks. Um, because it was signature, signature series. So, uh, I got a little bit into them, you know, for these books, but, um, I didn't pay much for them on the back. Cause like I said, two of them, I got on new comic book day. And then one, I think I paid like four or five bucks for. All right. So, okay. Hopefully. There are at least nine six or nine eights. Um, like I said two of them. I never even opened them up. I just bagged and boarded them. 
and that was it. And uh, so uh, we'll see what happens, right? All right. All right, all right. So I'm going to cover up the grades. Shoot. Cover up the grades. All right. So the first book. This was the book I was most excited about because um, I picked this up at, uh, at the back issue bin for like four or five bucks. Um, so I don't have that much into it outside of the, uh, the signature and the grading fees. And this was the only one I did get pressed. So uh, I'm hoping for at least a 9.4. Um, so let's see. Oh, 9.6. Nice. So if you're not familiar with this book, this is the first appearance of Elsa Bloodstone. Um, as you can see, it was signed by Scott Hanna. I like how he used the red. Um, I think it complements the book nicely. It's just a great cover. I do have a lot of um, speculation, hopes for this character do, you know, appearing in the upcoming, you know, probably phase five. We'll see. Because she is a, a monster killer. Um, so we'll see. This book's been going up quite a bit in value. I think 9.8s are well over, I think, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars know, in a universal. And I don't think there's many in the census uh, for this book. So this book will be eventually a book I sell down the road. Because um, I'm not really attached to this book. But uh, I am, yeah, a 9.6 is nice. Um, Taking a look at it closely, I don't know, like I said, I, this was the book I did get pressed. Um, trying to see, because I was really concerned with the back, because the back's a white cover. I wasn't really concerned with the front. Um, but I don't particularly see anything wrong with this book. It's pretty funny. This is a, I just noticed this is an anti-drug uh, uh, advertisement in the back for smoking. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really see anything wrong with this book. But this is the one thing I was worried about because it's a white cover that the littlest thing will knock a gray point off. From the front, it does look pretty clean. But, like I said, I'm... I'm pumped that this is a 9.6 for a book I paid up for like four bucks in the back issue bin. All right. So the last two books are Venom 3s. Um, neither one was, neither one was um, clean their press because I didn't think they needed to be. I bought them from New Comic Book Day. And um, I never even opened them up. Just went right back into a back and board. And that was it. I, n I never read the books. So um, the first book will be the first print. So take it out of its sleeve. And I, I told them all to sign these in red. And, <laughs> and of course, Donnie Kid signs it in, gr in this silver Sharpie. Uh, go figure. Uh, <laughs> but uh, let's see the grade. 9.4. What the hell? What is going on? How's this a 9.4? Wow, I was a little surprised on this one, huh? 9.4? Like I said, I did not uh, press any of these. Oh, I see the problem here. Maybe this is it right here. Well, this isn't really pressable, but um, if you look right there in the center where that greenish, there's a tiny little, uh, I guess it's a tiny little tick. So if they gave that a 9.4, I am really surprised because <laughs> I don't see anything else wrong with the book. 
but uh, <laughs> hey, it is what it is. You know, they're the uh, they're the grading experts, not me. Um, but uh, that's the only thing I see wrong with the book is that, and that's not I don't that's not pressable if that's a color break. But uh, anyways, cool book. Um, been meaning to get this book rated for the longest time and, uh, Hey, it's signed. So, uh, that's pretty sweet. Um, and then the last book, which was the one I was, uh, the third print also got signed by Donnie Cates. Um, like I said, they were all supposed to be in red. Well, at least that's what I told the facilitators. Um, pretty sure I told them all in red, but you know, you know how it is. These artists and writers just sign whatever they have there. So, um, he signed this one also in silver, which it's fine. I don't mind the silver actually in the red. I was hoping it was going to be red, but Venom number three, third printing, and we got... A 9.8. There we go. I'm glad one of these three <laughs> became a 9.8. A um, this was, you know, like I said, neither one of these books were uh, open or read when I picked them off off the uh, back issue bin. So I'm glad that this book, at least, which is the harder one of the three to get, came back in a 9.8. Just um, looking at the uh, case. The cases on all three look pretty good. There was only one that had a, a scuff mark. And uh, I think that was the, was it the first print? I'm trying to see now. I think it was the first print. Oh, actually no, it was the uh, Bloodstone. There was a little scuff on the uh, slab there. But it's not, like I said, the, no cases are cracked. Everything is nice. No issues with the labels. So <laughs> I'm thankful for that, for waiting this long, as long as I did. But uh, that Scott Hannock uh, signature is gorgeous. Uh, just, just elegant. Just simple, but yet clean. You can read it. Unlike the uh, Donny Cates, was just like scribbles. But uh, that's it. That was my unboxing. I'm... I'm pretty happy with the books I got. Let me know in the con uh, comments down below what you think. Um, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Mark's with the comics.